Oh god, ow, fuck, oh shit. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome back to Awesome Knots. Today we're going to do a match with Rocco, the ranged fighting fowl. Um, probably one of the, uh, the least respected characters, basically because you can cheese enemies from behind turrets and things like that. But there are uh, quite a few tricks to Rocco uh, for using him more effectively. So we're going to see if we can't do some of that goodness today. And um, one of the first tricks is um, firing from above. If you're shooting down on an opponent, then it obviously is much harder for them to jump upwards and out of your uh, out of your arrow. I took some massive damage from deadlift at the very, very beginning there. So uh, yeah, a little health bubble to heal that up. I'll pop my slowing now and uh, see if we can't take this deadlift down. I was hoping for a little more help from the skull deer. That's not gonna happen. I'll take that second health bubble. <laughs> God damn! Well, that's fine. Just uh, check if anybody's in there. We've got a couple of ranged characters. We do have a skull deer who is up in your face. He's gonna be playing the tank, I assume. But then you've also got um, Coco, who's able to fire from quite a distance away. Looks like Deadlift is um, hurting just a little bit. And boom, easy kill. <laughs> he was trying to get up here without using the bumpers, which was a pretty cool idea. Not something I knew you could do with Deadlift, but um, unfortunately it didn't work out as, as the way he hoped, I guess. So, um, nice easy first kill. I'm going to have to watch out for that Raylin and that Lone Star. Uh, once they get up in Rocco's face, there's not a whole lot that he can do. Uh, you can go Vengeance Arrows, but usually that's better for uh, chasing down an opponent than it is for um, initiating. It's okay for both, but uh, there's yeah definitely one way that I would prefer to use it. Unless you have the movement speed increase on it, um, which is a really, really nice thing. Able to get that Raylin in the bumper, which uh, I like quite a little bit. And then... Skull Deer obviously getting the Raylin into position for uh, a bit of damage, but she's able to escape relatively easy, as Raylin tends to do. Um, and there, another missed arrow. Oh well, it be what it be. We're gonna hide in here. Um, I was hoping to team up with Coco and uh, get some Lightning Ball and Rep ranged arrow action. It looks like that Lone Star's hurting relatively good. And uh, our team is sticking together at the moment pretty good as well, so hopefully it's all going to work out. I've got one kill already, so we're not going to be going, uh, whatever, 2-0 and or 0-2 like, like in the past couple matches. We started out pretty ugly and then it had to uh, pick up, so hopefully this, this match is going to be nice and easy. We're going to get some awesome kills. Oh god, get him. I missed him. He had the shield up anyways. Um, yeah. Low health deadlift. Don't don't ever run in on a low health deadlift. Um, basically because he's got that fucking shield, which means uh, he's not actually at at as low a health as you think he is. So there's a little arrow from the top. Miss the deadlift with it. Uh, if you can, you want to get like a little bit of angling to the arrow. I find that helps quite a bit. And I missed again. Fart. 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 I still remember Rocco. Uh, the release of Rocco, one of the the first characters that could consistently fire behind the turret, uh, aside from Coco. Oh my god, fuck! Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. I was trying to get some slowing action just in case uh, somebody wanted to follow me into the turret. <laughs> oh man. Uh, first thing I usually upgrade with Rocco is damage for the rapid arrows, as well as range of the rapid arrows. And then, um... I'll make his uh, long range shot explode so it does AoE damage, that is really really helpful. And then obviously the damage increase for the exploding shot is really nice as long as you're doing AoE damage. Uh, finally Vengeance is a, a really really awesome thing to upgrade but I usually wait for a little while on that. Um, you've got homing arrows, you've got the slowing increase. Oh and that was really nice of the Skull Deer to toss the, the Lone Star into the fucking bumper for me. And then, uh, homing arrows slowing, and then a speed increase with Vengeance. 
which makes it really, really good for chasing down opponents if you like, or uh, getting away from opponents, which is usually what I end up using it for. But um, that's largely because Rocco doesn't have a whole lot of uh, other options and things like that. God damn it, get him! Yes! <laughs> Without that fully charged uh, rapid shot, I was able to arc it and nail that fucking um, deadlift. So that was really, really nice. Super proud of that kill. And um, I guess my my chops with Rocco are decent. Because, uh, yeah, you do have to aim it up a little bit in order to get that kind of arc. And uh, my muscle memory was there. Again, smashing Raylan as she jumps into the bumper. I'm scared of this Lone Star. Um, his dynamite is going to do a lot of damage if he gets in my face. And although his health is low... Um, yeah, it's not so low that Rocco's just able to chew him up. He doesn't have a whole lot to do um, aside from the dynamite, but the dynamite does offer a shit ton of burst damage, which Rocco can't weather uh, hardly at all, because he's got a very low health total. Obviously, he's meant to be a ranged fighter. You don't really want to get him in, uh, in people's face. So there I go, fire off my arrow and get the fuck out of there. Then I don't think our droids were able to do any damage to the turret that time around. God damn, I'm just taking a pounding. I need to be a little bit more careful, I do think. Um, yeah, I underestimate Rocco and his squishiness. He makes me feel invincible because, you know, he'll nail people from behind the turret and all that kinds of shit. Obviously, I would be doing uh, quite a bit more damage against their team if I was able to get the AoE going, but... uh. I upgraded my rapid arrows first, as I said. But don't worry, that shit is coming. That shit is gonna come, and then they're gonna pay the price. Oh my god. And there, Raylan has the, the wasp upgrade for the time rift, which is so fucking annoying. Makes it really, really easy for Raylan to push. She's already a really good pusher with that rift, uh, even if you just upgrade the slow on it and the, uh, the attack speed of it. Usually, uh, I'll go for slow and attack speed for Raylan. But then the last thing is uh, a tie-up between the Wasp or making the, the Rift uh, higher. If you make the Rift tall, it is so hard for people to get out of it. Oh god. Nailed that fucking deadlift. Unfortunately, I didn't get the kill. Coco has a really, really fast attack speed with those gloves. And she was in it to win it. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Coco got taken down by the Lone Star. This Lone Star is doing some shit. Man. He's got that blaster upgrade, shooting extremely fast, and uh, I think he might even have some damage upgrades for that dynamite already. He's been getting quite a few kills, so... Lone Star, I'm looking at you, buddy! I'm coming for you! And, um, yeah, their Raylan seems pretty good, too. Their deadlift needs help, I will say that much. Um, he's in the, in the turret, obviously just uh, taking some shit to the face because he has his shield up, but it ain't gonna help none too much. We're gonna do it big, like we always do. I don't think their deadlift has gotten a kill yet, so uh, I'll go ahead and pick on him just a little bit. See if we can't uh, get him knocked into the turret or some such. Really, I would be depending on Coco to get him knocked into the turret, because Rocket Rocco doesn't have any uh, ranged attacks that do knock back. He's just got his, his little arrow, um, and then his big arrow, and then the slowing. But the slowing bit is really, really nice. Once you get that Vengeance upgraded, it means some easy kills. I have tried to upgrade it before anything else, but uh, that doesn't usually work out too well. So I do more of a conventional build. It's more of what I what I see most people doing, um, which is rapid arrows and or range shot first. So it works out pretty good for me. Um, so far we're, we're 2-0, so I'm relatively happy with that. We've got some... Uh, some nice synergy going with our team at the moment. C Coco is like kind of a mixed ranged and melee attacker. I'm trying to block off that fucking uh, that deadlift and was able to get him killed with the rapid or the the range shot. So super nice. I'll just fire that off and uh, get rid of this wasp. Get the health bubble. That's what we do. Three and zero. So now I'm on a killing spree. That's really a nice way to start the match. I am satisfied. And, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, get rid of that wasp as well. I was thinking about going down there to uh, to pick up the extra solar, which is a really, really great, great way to farm if you uh, need need a character. Um, 
like Leon. Leon needs a lot of solar in order to get really strong and uh, start doing some massive damage. So if Leon can smash uh, droids with the worm and then uh, get down there and collect the solar without getting killed, then uh, it can be a really nice way to stack up the solar quickly. But obviously that also means you're not doing any damage on the bottom turrets. Um, I think it's really interesting. Especially because you only have one turret at the back, so you don't necessarily need to take down the bottom turret, but um, <laughs> it's definitely preferred. You don't want to get pinched off like that. I kind of wasted that rapid arrow because I, I didn't see anybody around um, where I shot it. <laughs> I guess I was just hoping that they would move in that direction, but that was not the case. They're fired again. Ooh! Ooh! Didn't see me coming, did you, Raylin? Uh! And now I'm kind of kiting that deadlift around. Pretty nice. Uh, obviously the Vengeance not doing too much for me at the moment. You really do need some upgrades before it's able to be used 100% uh, effectively. Especially the homing arrows. Extra slowing and homing arrows is fucking massive for Vengeance. Uh, now that deadlift is at pretty low health, but he is out of there as he should be. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and creep while there's a little lull in the battle. That's always a good idea. Get the extra solar, get your health topped off, stuff like that. And uh, I don't think those droids are going to make it to the turret. So we will uh, do some damage over here. Lone Star is in a bad place. Boom. Get him. Dead. Fuck. Too hungry. <laughs> okay. We'll have to be a little more careful. Like I said, low health total. Just, just... Just fucking breathe for a minute, okay? Just fucking breathe! <laughs> oh god, I'm hyperventilating. Alright, nailed that fucking deadlift. Able to get his uh, shield down pretty nicely. Unfortunately, Coco missed her lightning ball on these droids, but that's fine. I'm chewing them up relatively nice. The ranged arrows have uh, a pretty good damage to them. And there we go. Got a little more damage on, uh, on our range shot as well now, too. So... We should be a, a bit more helpful to the team. Oh yeah, there we go, baby. Coming back with a vengeance, son. What you wanna do, kid? Nothing. You fucking done. You fucking done. I just barely missed that uh, deadlift with the rap with the ranged arrow. Ranged arrow, rapid arrow. I, I hope people know what I'm talking about. If I if I tend to mix them up, because I definitely do. Um, let's see if we can get that deadlift. Yeah. What? What? Oh, we're doing the job. Five and one. I'm, I'm fucking satisfied already. There we go. Body block. Body block. Body rock. Body rock. And their uh, Skullnir kind of let me have that kill, which was rather nice of him. I do appreciate it. I'm trying to get get my killing spree back up, kid. Oh yes. Rocco is uh, just a fucking monster. You don't see him used too often in high level play. Which, you know, I am not a high-level player. Largely, that's because um, he's going to be... He's going to be fucked if somebody gets in his face. To be, uh... To, to be completely blunt about it. Yeah. Rocco has a hard time with uh, anybody that can dash up. I.e. Froggy G. You see a lot of fucking Froggy Gs in high-level play. Just because he's got those invincibility fra frames and all that stuff. Oh, God. Oh, fuck! Damn, no killing spree today. Alright, their bottom turret smashed, our top turret is smashed, but their top turret is about to go down, and then we can start working on that back turret. And uh, with the way things have been going, I'm relatively hopeful. Oh god, ow fuck, oh shit. <laughs> oh, I just ruined myself in that fucking time rift. This is not good. I don't like it, I don't like it. God damn, fuck me, ass shit, bitch. That Lone Star is... A fucking monster. That's all I can say. I don't know what his build is. I should probably go back and uh, take a peek at it. But he is, uh, he is a huge, huge threat. So we're going to have to be really, really careful around that guy. I'm going to stay up here. Guard these creeps. Yeah. None of that shit for you, deadlift. Uh. And the turret is destroyed. That's all right. I'll get my vengeance arrows. I'm almost dead again. Jesus Christ, Rocco. I need some more health for this fella. Ah, at least their turrets are down. We've still got our bottom turret up, so technically we are winning the match, despite my extreme frustration with the last two kills. Um, just, just, yeah. 
I was playing it careful at the beginning, and then uh, I dropped the ball just a little bit. Six and three, still not bad, but um, yeah, I definitely prefer to be six and zero. Oh, obviously, here comes Deadlift from behind, trying to do some shit, but people are body blocking really, really well here. Oh, oh! Thought we were gonna get the Lone Star too. I missed my arrow on him, unfortunately. All right, their turret's almost done. I'm kind of guarding Skoldir now. Oh, I'm fucking scared of this Lone Star, though. Oh, what an asshole he is. Oh, boy. Yep, I'm gonna leave. Goodbye, I'm sorry. That Lone Star was so low on health, but, uh... I've been scared into, uh, passivity. Is that a word? I'm not sure. <laughs> Definitely, uh, gonna kinda sit around and wait. I got that fucking Ray Lin. Very nice. Right between the eyes! And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for my teammates to show back up. There's Coco! Hey, buddy! Oh, God. Oh, shit. Alright, get under the bowl. <laughs> there we go. I think Coco's dead. She's, uh, she's floundering around there. Kind of just doing whatever the fuck she wants. Alright, everything's good. Save the Coco! Yeah! Look at that! Exploding ranged arrow damage. Oh! And that fucking kill on the Lone Star, that was so sweet. Oh, good job. That Coco's an ass kicker. Tell you what, now we are in their base. Oh, <laughs> he threw that fucking Raylan into the arrow. And I uh, was able to get that kill. Eight and three, not bad at all, but I think this match is over, friends. Ah, good job to my opponents. Great job to my teammates. Thank you so much for watching, friends. This has been Rocco and Awesome Knots. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely thank you for watching. I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe for the last minute killing spree. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.